We have a major update to our still practicing investigations. It's been 13 months since our team found doctors with licenses suspended or revoked in other states practicing in Texas with clean records on their public profiles. Well, now as KXTN investigator Matt Grant explains, lawmakers are debating a bill that would change that. On a cloudy day at the Texas Capitol, a bright spot for patient safety. KXAN uncovered a problem, brought it to my attention. We discussed it. I met with policyholders. We've come together to form, I think, a piece of legislation that can make a meaningful impact. In response to our investigations, Democratic State Representative Julie Johnson filed House Bill 1998. It would require the Texas Medical Board to continually search the National Practitioner Data Bank for up-to-date disciplinary and criminal records, ensuring it's made Made public faster and stopping doctors with licenses revoked in other states from practicing here. Your reporting, Matt, has brought a lot of troubling facts to light. The Texas Medical Board was caught asleep at the switch and we need to make sure that they're doing their job. Weir Wendell is executive director of the nonprofit Texas Watch. He says there's a patient safety crisis and urged lawmakers at a House Public Health Committee hearing to pass the bill. Matt Grant uh, with KXAN has done yeoman's work in identifying problems at the medical board, finding at least 50 doctors, nearly 50 doctors, who had problems in other states but were practicing here in Texas, and we're unaware of that as members of the public. Why? Because the Texas Medical Board wasn't doing their job. The Texas Hospital Association said it has concerns over a requirement to report disciplinary actions lasting less than 30 days to the state, saying it would have an impact if hospitals had to report minor infractions. For Johnson, it's about transparency. And the public has a right to know. Representative Johnson's revelation that the Texas Medical Board has not only been receptive of her bill, but helped collaborate on it is new. Officially, the TMB's position is that it doesn't comment on pending legislation. At the Capitol, Matt Grant KXAN investigates. And our thanks to Matt for that. Representative Johnson says the Texas Medical Board blamed funding and staffing problems for not being able to keep its public position portal up to date. You can see our entire series and what led up to today by clicking on Still Practicing under the investigative tab at KXAN.com.